Alright, it's Two Drunk Bastards. I'm James. And I survived the snowpocalypse. Oh, barely. Also known as Brandon. You can call me Brandon. Most people do. <laughs> Wait, the actual snow, or are you calling yourself the abominable <laughs> snowman? I, you could call me that as well. I like it. Yeah. We'll stick with it. It was a terrible... I'm white. You're not that white. Quite pasty. Yeah, okay, you're pretty white. Yeah. <clears throat> um, you, we had a shitload of snow. Crazy uh, amount. 30 I had, inches. I had... Uh, I measured 31 on my front front uh, patio. That's a shitload of uh, shoveling. Uh, yes, yeah, that's that's a pinch nerve in my neck for almost a week now. That's what that is. Yeah, <laughs> back feels like shit. I felt like shit since yeah, like, my, Wednesday. Like right through here, man. Like no joke, pinch nerve. Working on those traps. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It, what pisses me off is the people who don't shovel at yeah. all, but then they go out and they have like a shovel that's like a tiny shovel, and so I feel bad for them and help them because I'm like, well. I don't feel bad for them. You know why? Because I went to Home Depot and I prepared for shit. How about that? Well, I bought I bought salt. I bought an, another snow shovel. I bought window de-icer for the cars. I, I did the same, but so, I still feel bad. If it was a, it was a one was a, a lady she worked at the hospital trying to get to the hospital. So I mean okay, things like that. Fair. They get me. They get me. That, that's fair. And the the one that got me <clears> was a uh, was an older woman. Her her shovel broke. See. And and she was she was an old woman and her shovel broke and. Uh, I patched it back together and dug out her mailbox for her. <laughs> so. There you go. Yeah. Consider it, bastards. In case you're wondering, uh, my eye's slightly puffy. We, did, we decided to drink some uh, whiskey before we started. Some, uh, ni- some nice scotch. Good scotch by uh, McCollin. McCollin scotch. If you've never had it, the 12-year is uh, <clears throat> fantastic. I decided to play catch afterwards and got hit in the face with a football because <laughs> my depth perception is slightly off. So, yes, that's what this will, I'm sure, is going to be black tomorrow. Yeah, go, so. ahead, go ahead, Marsha. <laughs> Mar- <laughs> <laughs> it was even slight. I even had a temper tantrum after. So, Because, <laughs> you know, inevitably I had to blame the person who threw the football, not that I was trying to catch it like this. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you had, you had freaking uh, you had, you had hands like Andre Johnson. <laughs> I was no Beckham in this instance, I'll give you that. <laughs> But, uh, yes, so that's what this is. You caught, you caught it like this, bro. You caught it like this. I did not bend it like Beckham, so to speak. <laughs> anyways, All right. Uh, so I hope you guys survived the snow. Uh, if it snowed where you were, I know my brother-in-law down in Texas, he uh, he got exactly zero. Um, so and he's around the Dallas area. And uh, uh, Lucky bastard. Yeah, it was like we're sitting there with like three foot of snow outside, and he's uh, he's – uh, sending those pictures on Facebook or whatever where it's like 70 degrees and he's chilling in his garage. I, <clears throat> so uh, apparently we're popular today. I, 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 it's all Twitter from, actually. It's all Twitter from? From? AdDrop Theory. Our friends at AdDrop Theory. And it looks like Boulevard as well. Mm-hmm. Which, we will go right into it. On the show today we have the Boulevard Single Wide IPA. AdDrop? Theory? Drop theory. Yep. It's a brewing company, apparently. It or... is. Yes, that's the the beer that we tried at uh, Philly Tavern. Oh, God. Okay. So anyway, and then uh, we're taking the Boulevard Single Wide <clears throat> IPA, and we're going to put that one up against the New Belgian Ranger IPA. Awesome, awesome. Uh, New Belgian, as many of you might know, have heard about them. They're from Fort Collins, Colorado. It says, uh, tip your hat to our beer rangers in the field who inspired this well-balanced IPA packed with sim. Simcoe Cascades and Chinook Hops. Uh, count on citrus aromas and piney surroundings. And this is a six and a half percenter, James. Nice. That's right where I like it to be. Uh, <clears throat> so we have the uh, <clears throat> Boulevard here, the single wide IPA. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see what this says here. In time, in time honored brewing tradition, we've added a small amount of yeast to this ale just before packaging Ooh. to produce a secondary fermentation in the bottle. Mm. The yeast, which settles naturally to the bottom of the bottle, encourages further maturation and contributes to the ale's complex flavor. Sweet. Nice. Well well described. Uh, it is a... Do you see it? It's, it? it's hidden. Boulevard from 1989, obviously. Roll back over there. Mm. Is it on? Probably a son of a gun. They got a post it somewhere, don't they? I, I'm not sure. Is it over here? No. Come on, really? All right, Boulevard. This greatly affects my 
All right, let's see what we got here. We're bust out the Google machine. Yeah, that's unbelievable. All right, so we're going to do the single wide IPA ABV. Okay, alcohol by volume. And that is, according to boulevard.com, 5.7. A 5.7. Right in my wheelhouse. All right. Let's so start. As long as it hangs around a good old six for us, we usually seem to like it pretty well. So Let's uh, start with the old uh, Ranger here. Okay. Uh, go ahead, James. I got a little water in the glass to cleanse the palate to get rid of the scotch. There we go. All right. And then uh, the official 2DB bottle opener here. Nice. Make, making short, short work of that puppy. <clears throat> Ooh, Sierra Nevada. That's uh, oh, <clears throat> there you go. I don't think so, folks. I do not think so. This is gonna be hot plastic. <laughs> nice golden color. Yeah, very good. With a uh, pretty good clarity. Through uh, through. Definitely, you can. I always do the test where you put the finger on the other side. You can definitely see through it. Yeah, you're doing the old finger test, huh? Yeah, we've all been there. Yeah, uh, as long as long as you keep the finger straight, you're good. That's what she said. Indeed, indeed, but. <laughs> There it is. It has a crispness to it. Definitely uh, a crispness. Um, what's... what's Alright, so what's citrus and pine. Cheers. Cheers, folks. You son of a bitches. That is awful. What? That's awful. That is an awful beer. You outside your brain. Mm-mm. What's wrong with you? That scotch, that scotch is affecting your taste buds. You like that? I, I do. I, I think that this is a smoother, not as harsh version of the Sierra Nevada. Pale ale and stuff. Yeah, this is this is good. Uh, if you like bold hops. B bold hop, but it's not really, it's not over the top bite. Oh, apparently Ender found something on, on Shadow or something that he likes. There's a lot of people here today, so it's oh. hard to keep him... That's true. Contained, apparently, at all. Um, uh, yeah. Lord, boy. Um, <clears throat> so, I, I dig it. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I think it's great. Dude! It'll stop. Someone's leaving. Once they shut the door, if they ever shut the door, he will uh, subside. Got that, it. to me, though, is... A, uh, it's not the worst I've tasted. It's not the best I've tasted. I'd, I would go with the two and a half. Two and a half? Okay, well, I mean, that's actually not a bad rating considering what I thought you were going to give it. Uh, I would certainly give this one a... It's, again, it's not great. I don't mind it. Um, clearly, it's no dog dogfish uh, IPA. I, I'm giving it two and a half only because I think it's because it's got a really bold hop taste that I don't care for, but I think it's probably pretty good quality. So it, It's definitely... Uh, fun, fun fact, actually. Um, All-natural powered plant uh, where they make this stuff, like... You know, sun, uh, sun panels, and all that other kind of stuff. And New Belgium is actually employee owned. I do like that. That's why I like the Green Bay Packers in the NFL because they are owned by the city. They're they're owned by you can buy shares of. <laughs> That's right. Let's pop this other one open. I'm I'm trying to get to this single wide here. I think this is going to be the winner of the two. I hope. To I God, it is. I hope, I hope it is. Do you like this one better? Uh, well, we shall see. Obviously, I've never ha I've never had either of them, but certainly hope that it's good. Please go by one four because I gotta drive. Again, uh, this one's a little bit more murky. You can still see the finger through it when you do the test, but it definitely has a little more cloud than the other one. <clears throat> Same golden taste, a maybe a little deeper, but definitely certainly more cloud. It smells lighter. Not nearly as much pine. Not as potent. That's for sure. It's probably that extra uh, fermentation that they were talking about. Whoa. Ah! <laughs> That's pretty good. It's not bad. That's fantastic, actually. <gasps> Whoa, shit. You all right there? <laughs> I'm trying to think the last time I've seen a white horse. What? That's, damn it. <laughs> Did you the last time you've seen a white horse? Yes. <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> you, you look 
swing a white horse. Anyway, what do you... Did you say a white whore or a horse? What? Whatever works. Both. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try with some air. All right, screw it. Single wide, what do you give it? Uh, three and a half. Three and a half. Well, it's a four from me. The Belgian gets a three from me, and I know it got a two and a half from you. So that means that your winner today, folks, is the Single Wide IPA from Boulevard. Thanks for tuning in. Check us out at Two Drunk Radio on Twitter. Mr. Hiccups here will be at Two Drunk Radio on Facebook. And catch our website, www.twodrunkbastardsradio.com. We're out. It's going down.